Ejini program Youth Talk ahachinana na mshanzu katonye zimuinda Voice of Kamwenge Uhuri Chiriza Welcome to some other episode of the Youth Talk Show My name is Mr. Vibes Live and uh, we are here all the way to 4pm in the evening We have decided to take a visit to St. Thomas Vocational Secondary School It is in Rubirizi district in western Uganda and uh, it is where we are we are basically talking to students at that school about their lockdown experience, their automatic promotion, how the situation is at the school so far. We are starting with you. What's your name? Which class do you attend to? And where do you come from? Yeah, my name is Boa Ignatius. Mm. I come from Bushenyi, Shaka Municipality. Mm. Uh, I am in S5 Arts. I offer HLD stroke ICT. Okay. It's now a month you are at school in Beraza Okay, Belaza Shemetazel Kovi. Actually, we came on 10th January. So far, the going is not bad. Yeah, we are coping up. No, even to be a town key, Konka, Boy and to John to Jesa only to account about Chava to guide in Jele, but we but with the school rules and regulations, as Sheman to Jenderaho, went to talk with John to Jeno Mish. Okay. Yeah. How was the situation? In lockdown or Kavana operates? The situation in lockdown didn't hit me badly because I was working, but started up simple projects. To my side, I was earning some money. When lockdown, I was working on my own. I was working on my own. I was working on my own. I was working on my you had started doing some business, uh, you even uh, received some money in your business. Why did you opt to come back to school? I opted to come back to school because I see education is the only key to success. Because mm. my career vision is not only based in what I was doing there. Mm. So I decided to come back to school because your vision, Yanji, I want to become a lawyer. So I can't talk about the future, Yanji, Eruxis Kara, can have opportunity to work. Okay. Yeah. What's your name? Singwile Slivia. Singwile? Yeah. Uh, which class do you attend to and uh, where do you come from? Sinyawan Ek from Kasese District. You're from Kasese District. What's Sivile? Sivile. Thank you very much. Now, uh, how was lockdown in Kasese? Lockdown was not a bit bad mm. because we learned some things that we did not know how to do, like baking cakes, making small bags, which would help us with our parents to earn a living. And lockdown made us acquire on the skills that we would not get from the school. So you can now bake cakes? Yeah, I can. Why did you opt to come back to school when actually you had some skills that you would use to get some money that you need in the future after the result of education? A person cannot be with money for her or him to live the future, but education is the key to everybody who wishes to live a better Uganda. Okay. Yeah. So you came for a better Uganda. Yeah. Now, while in lockdown, did you access any study materials from the government or school or maybe you watched TV and they were teaching? I, I was seeing them on TVs, but I did not receive any. Thank you very much. Voice of Kamwenge Reading, Mama Runji. We are at St. Thomas Vocational Secondary School. It is located in Bururuma, Buhinda Parish in Rototo Sub-County. This is Wenyaruguru in Rubirizi District, and uh, it is a school owned by a one Reverend Father Charles Nwagaba. And, uh, well, when we reached at the school, we found a mass was happening. Ganisev. Uh, Ineshonga. Lokweto, mazina ni wangita kama kama bright. Ndugala kasha ni Paris, kanya ambiri tu kasero. Okay. Mm. Which class are you in? I'm in senior five. How was lockdown in your life as a student? The lockdown mm. was not favorable because mm. I got some implications, some problems, or some challenges which could affect me. What happened? You got to come and walk and do Which problems would affect you? All that. Icho kubanza, tuwa tujua mwuloki dauni, akaru kalu kusanga nwa yetu urugire vgi nji kwa wanga ebyo kwa wikavidi viche, ukura kalima kwa wanga kasa itanu, kusangu tiwe gundi mwemogu kukora, kusangu ejo kwe sanka asimu vita kuya amba, nulaza amu vize zita kuya amba, wana kache zita kuwe jesa, kwa wanga umutima guawe, nungu mkwa guawe, gaji ira chindi chinta, wanga 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 wanga
kandi numata chiteka teka na juu yubi ntukutawaro gire bugi nje ati shangana chocha kwa tamu ok thank you thank you thank you thank you voice of kamonga reading amama ronji uh ha i am talking to you what's your name and uh, where do you come from and which class do you attend to my name is ingras livia i come from kasese district mm. and i'm in senior one c uh roku daoniwe kakujendele ita iwe nkomu anawomu shiti it was just something scaring mm. I was thinking and seeing how my fellow girls were getting pregnant mm. asking myself who am I and where am I where have I reached in my life okay. but I thank God for everything who has given me parents mm. and has given has protected me from each and everything so lockdown wasn't too scary like how I thought mm -hmm. yes how about covid-19 maybe lockdown was not scary how about the disease the disease when it first came mm. people were all scared mm -hmm. but coming slowly by slowly mm. they were following the things the instructions that the government had given them mm. though they were harsh at first but then they came while people they were getting used to them did you access any study materials during lockdown either from the government or your school or i did not receive any but my siblings and my parents mm. were providing for me and helping me in and everything i needed some time back uh, in our days when we were in secondary schools uh, we used to face uh, twizy or dormitories teasing in senior one uh, you know those senior two students were more stubborn than any other class and they would tease us how about you uh, did you face teasing here no mm. I did not face any teasing mm. because I believe that all students were all God fearing and they do not want to tease or to put their fellows on pressure or take them in difficult situations. Thank you very much. St. Thomas Vocational Secondary School. We are in Rubilizi. Assalamu alaikum. Alaikum salam. So you're a Muslim or? I'm a, a Muslim. I had seen you with the mask of Bismillah and thought maybe you just bought it. No, I'm a Muslim. And when you're responding, you stop on Walikum Salam or you add in some, some words? You add in some words. Uh -huh. We are waiting for those words. Walikum Salam Walikum Walikum Salam Walikum Salam You man, did you study Islamic? Anyway, uh, what's your name yeah. and uh, which class do you attend to and where do you come from? My name is Tumsime Abdallah. I come from the village Chamba sub county. Okay. I started from St. Thomas Vocational School, Senior 2. How do you find life in Senior 2? Uh, life in Senior 2 is in Songa. I come back to the first room, first room, Senior 1. I come back to the first room, Senior 1. I come back to the first room, Senior 1. I come back to the first room, Senior 1. I come back to the first room, Senior 1. Ebintu byo kwantu somera ho nkaza internet batoreze namba za batsha za bamwe nkatsya uso adenta punya sipu akana tsindikira waka bwe nkatogarikira ishimwe twazo musinya tu twasanga waka imbere tarimbi nitusoma bwe ne bintu nibitambura je kan nyisigambiza guma bitambura je in chichwamba how was your lockdown life okabano ukora cyo mu lockdown yeah bwe for me when i went for lockdown I sat down with my parents and I decided that I should start, start a business. They get for me some money and make a group of 10 students. Five of them they are from Thomas and another, another five from different schools. To attend a business, it is to go to a to go to a movie, to go to a factory, to go to a red cherry, to go to a center, to go to a business, to go to a magoba, to go to a skill, to go to a business, how to do a business, how to succeed in a business. The rate of unemployment is very high in Uganda. Mm. You had started business and money was coming every day, all day. Yes. Why did you opt to come back to school? Uh, for me, I, I saw that that money I was getting was not going to be useful for me. Mm. Because I'm still young, I don't know how to use money, the importance of money. When I saw Sentinova, I saw that 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 I You'll get a job and you get your, your money. Thank you very much. Uh, in lockdown, most of the girls were meeting, meeting, you know, those men had money. You have an expensive watch. Oh, where did you get it from? 
I bought it myself. Where did you get money from? My dad gave me. Okay, what's your name? Where do you come from? And which class do you attend to? I'm a Samantha Olivia from Chaya and I'm a student at St. Thomas, Senior 3. Okay, thank you very much. Now, how was lockdown life in Chaya? Most probably it was not interesting at all at first. Mm. So, because I was worrying, you know, we are used to the situation at school, mm. meeting our friends, jazzing. But in the village, our parents were very harsh and strict. Okay. So it was very boring at first. Because it was targeting, I used it. Okay. But I got caught up with the whole thing. What were you do, doing during lockdown? Yes, at first I had a, a dream. I mm. wanted to be a footballer. Mm -hmm. But my school would not allow me because we were very fixed at that time. Mm. So when I reached at home, I was concentrating on my But since it was a lockdown, Mm. Yes. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you, you, you had a dream of becoming a footballer. Yes. Did you really wish to achieving that dream during lockdown? Of course. Mm -hmm. Tell us the story. So one day in Kandia TV and one morning watching, I was going to go to the So it was one of the coaches. I was going to go to the coach. I was going to go to the coach. At first, I was going Ujakana mangu, habichimashu horo kwe mba zafu na kenda, funa yoba boyfriend za habi habi. So I tried to convince him, na mjanti. Daddy, umotu ya nda kushishikara na shishikara, kani hata kuenda, na gumum position. Okay. So, so your dad was convinced that you should go? I refused to change and I take him first. Mm. So yes. what happened when you moved? What did you say? What did you say? Yes, what did you say? Yes, what did you say? It was a no. From DKF. DKF. Yes, there was a certain tournament. I was in Okay. Yes. So your future is somewhere waiting for you to finish here mm. and continue. Yes. Okay. Now you're back to school. How is the situation? Very nice. Because mm. I've come to meet my friends and they're now jazzing. Teachers mm. are very nice. Mm. Reading is compulsory, of which does not let us waste time. Okay. Yes. These are some of the moments at the school of St. Thomas Vocational Secondary School that is in uh, Bunyaruguru Rubirizi district. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, sir. What's your name and uh, which class do you attend to and where do you come from? Yeah, I'm Mungli Timothy Prince. Mm. I study in the mighty school, St. Thomas Vocational Secondary School. Mm -hmm. I do Hill, Stroke ICT. And I'm in Form 6 at, I come from Nebi, yeah, Pakwach, especially there in Puyo. Nebi, Pakwach? Yeah. What forced you to come to Western Uganda and choose a school in, uh, I am not going to say it is a village, but it is not Mbarara City, so it is close to a village in Rubirizi. What forced you to come this side? Coming this side is actually a long story though, but I was looking for excellence, a mm. uh, Christian-based school mm. that would morally <clears throat> bring me up, okay. that would instill discipline in me and make me a responsible citizen okay. one time in future. Where did you spend your lockdown days from? I spent my lockdown in Kampala. I was with my parents, though some at some point they left me and I was taking care of the home mm -hmm. and I was taking care of my young brothers. Mm -hmm. Since I had got some skills from the entrepreneurship lessons I do, it helped me become creative and encourage my mom on how to encourage customers. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, I made liquid soap and added it as a supplement to the grocery that my mom was running. Okay. Yeah. You have all those skills. What brought you back to school? Why didn't you concentrate on, you know, doing that business, doing liquid soap and, you know, make some money, stay there? <laughs> I believe a business is not wealth. The wealth that you can have for a long time is education. I have my future prospects of what I can be. Mm -hmm. And because of that, I came back to school because me too, I want to become a lawyer, mm -hmm. just like my mom. And she inspires me a lot. And I feel I should be out there fighting for someone who is being depressed, someone who is oppressed, someone is, who is being denied their rights. Mm -hmm. So I decided to come and continue with my studies because I love my Uganda and I want to help the citizens of Uganda. Thank you very much. Uh, you have a good mind. Thank you very much. Now, 
you're back to school in Birazi, you don't understand this language how is the situation at school and um, well you were running up a grocery you would get some money buy whatever you want at school you are limited to choices of food how is the situation when i came back to school the situation okay was kind of tight but you know you have to adjust you know you have to to get something you have to work hard for it so when i came back to school i found the situations were kind of hard to me but it, i have to adjust because i have a dream that i have to chase and when i came back i really knew that it's my responsibility to make my dream come true people were dying during lockdown you were in Kampala where the source of death uh, because of COVID-19 was. How were you even feeling? Yeah, it wasn't easy. It was something that would instill fear. Mm -hmm. But with time, we made it part of us mm -hmm. and we accepted that COVID is there. Mm -hmm. And we made it a habit to control and follow the SOPs. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. He comes from Nebi. What were you doing during lockdown? You have an expensive watch. I was staying home with my parents. Mm -hmm. I learned how to weave some baskets. Sometimes I would sell them and get some money. Okay, you can now tell us your names, the class you attend to and where you come from. <laughs> my name is Osime Shakira. Mm -hmm. I'm in Senior 5 Arts. I do HLG stroke ICT mm -hmm. and I come from Bushen. You are Bushen? Yes. Mgambach. Uh -huh. Now, uh, you were digging, doing this and that during lockdown. Did you get time to concentrate on books? Uh, if maybe you thought you were coming back to school. Yeah, I got some time to concentrate on books because I was always idle. It's not like I was I was digging the whole day. Mm. Of course, you know, digging is always for morning time. I tried to read books. My former school, we had a teacher, like, we, he tried to make us some group on WhatsApp. I was using my parents' phone. Mm. Yeah, we would do some discussions. We try to get time to read. Lockdown uh, gave uh, some students opportunities to carry phones, have phones. Uh, and parents provided phones. Those phones have uh, spoiled most of the students, especially girls. How about you? You got access to a phone. What happened? Uh, Hi dear. No, of course, as I told you, I was using my parents' phone. Mm. I was just using it for education purposes. Mm. Okay, things that would build me up, not so the ones that would bring me down. You couldn't text to a boy and he responds and you delete messages. Yeah, I'm waiting for the right time. Mm. Yes. Thank you very much. Agani Nyabo. Yes. How are you? I'm good. You're from Kasese also? No. Yeah, who are I'm you from Barara City. Hey, you're from the city? Okay, uh, what's your name and um, which class do you attend to and which village in Barara? You are Kakoba, Katete, Omokenaka? Well, my name is Aine Balas College, Bristol. Mm. I'm in Senior 4 and I come from Katete and Barara. Okay. You opted to come from Barara to the village of uh, <laughs> Rubirizi. Why? Schools in Barara are very many. Well, there are very many, mm. but specifically, we look for schools that have excellency in their maybe nurturing the children, okay. schools that have disciplined students. Yeah, that's why we move from other schools and you find yourself that you are in a certain school. Okay. So, St. Thomas is a very good school. Thank you very much. What were you doing in Barara, uh, in Katete, during lockdown? Well, I used to attend our shop with my mom. Did you concentrate on uh, only working or you spent some time in books, doing research, you know, getting close to the school? Yeah, I would do research yeah. after coming from town. And then sometimes, like through a week, I would stay at home like on Wednesday, Friday and Saturday, concentrate on my books. And then other days, I would attend the shop. Okay. Yeah. You're back to school. And there is a visitor. No, I'm going to send you a letter to Boko. Are you winter? What's up? Of course, in the election, I'm going to tell you. Winter, as usual, everyone knows at school, you have to wake up for winter. Chuboko. Mm -hmm. Of course, they are for indisciplined students. 
and mm-hmm. I don't think that the same thing as we have in this friend students. Mm-hmm. We are all this friend. I don't expect any kind of that. So. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. St. Thomas Vocational Secondary School is where we are. It is the Youth Talk Show. My name is Mr. Vibes Live. A simple thing you can do is hit on our Facebook page. It is 87.9 FM VOK Radio. You give us your opinion on uh, the reopening of schools, the automatic promotion that happened, and uh, how you saw students' behaviors in lockdown. It is what you will tell us on our Facebook page. You are as well on Twitter at 87.9 VOK FM. What's your name? Uh, you say Jesus is your savior. How about the rest? Jesus tell savior. Wow. Jesus is my only savior. Yeah. Anyway, thank you, moderator, for this momentous epoch. Um, Bira wishes Trisha, a student in Form Six Sciences, offering PEM stroke ICT. Your Bira. Yeah, Bira. You're from. And we come from Kasese and Kilembe in particular. You're from Kilembe. Yeah. What does the name Bira mean? Bira. In the Bakonjo culture, Bira is the second lady. How was lockdown in Chilembe? You were working in the mines. What what were you doing? Uh, not really, because, well, lockdown came, but it was really a catastrophe. Mm. One of the things I treasured most came to a standstill, which is education. But though, I didn't stop there, because, on the other hand, lockdown seemed to be a blessing in disguise. Mm. At first, I tried concentrating on two books because I really had hopes we would come back to school. Mm. But when I saw time was going on and on, and I was forced to do things I wouldn't think I would ever do in life because I'm this kind of person who never gave time to these other kind of skills. And, you know, because I was always home just for a few weeks, maybe at most a month, and then I'm always at school, always at school. But now lockdown, this time around, I had a chance to get to acquire some skills whereby I learned to make baskets. And then with time, I was called by my big bro who was who is living in Ishaka and he wanted me to manage his small business. Mm. So I went to Ishaka where I spent most of my time during the lockdown as I was managing the business. So in the lockdown, you even reached a title of manager. Yeah. Why did you come back to school with all those uh, titles you had started garnering? I have a set goal. And I don't really think I want to quit my goal because it has really been long when I since I set that goal. And I just don't want to ruin it at this last point. Mm-hmm. That is why, despite everything I did, still I wanted to achieve my dream okay. of becoming an engineer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So you have a goal, the president had the shifted goalposts. <laughs> no, as in someone, you know, you really have something, you really feel it's an urge in, in within you. Okay. You really want it. Most of the times uh, when the president would come on TV or radio to speak, uh, people would expect he's going to open schools, but he kept pushing, pushing. It came to two years. How were you even feeling? Well, I, I kind of got some disillusionment, but I didn't lose hope. Just because I had set these strategies of my end, I really have these people who inspire me. Like they tell you, a little rain must fall in your life, so don't quit. I just thought those were the challenges that were coming, and then they shouldn't force me to get demoralized and then think I should quit, of course. Mm-hmm. Obviously, when you have something you're up to and you're really determined, mm-hmm. it really becomes difficult for you to just quit like that. Okay. Yeah. You're back to school. How is the situation here? Well, the situation, you know, after that long period of time, two years, oh my God, it's really a lot of time. Mm-hmm. But still, someone who is chasing after something, mm-hmm. you don't think about anything. Come what may, you have to adhere. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Voice of Kamwenge, Reading Mama Ronji. We are on the Youth Talk Show, and my name is Mr. Vibes Live. We have taken a visit to St. Thomas Vocational Secondary School, and it is where we are. We are talking to students at that school. I want to first ask you a question. Girls of your age have uh, decided to get married. Some decided to, you know, follow boys, sleep with boys, are pregnant. <laughs> Some have kids, and they didn't come back to school. How about you? Um, I'm Pide Maria Goretti, Katema, Heady Girl, St. Thomas Vocational Senior Secondary School, Boruma Ruvirizi. Ndiyo home, ndiyo mwana womu, ni nturaha vzenga. That's where my origin is. Kandi ntumanyangu tuine na wana wa kuruga kamweja wa kushomera hawa ziri mwena. Tubasimu na chumwe, kumanu tuereza wana, St. Thomas. Okay. So, okugamba cha wechu wa mbuza, mm. yes, na mazma. Abishwinjwa katwara, abandu bazire, abandu bashwirwa. Mm. Konka, 
kujira ngu buri yomo wena katu arenda kujira ngu akabana inda kuzara apana it may be chibasa kubacha abide ho baho like accidental nko kuba kutiga ambu murujungu maybe there are some it was like a temptation eh kujira ngu wana bini inda baka zwana benziri so nyowenka anye ahabu gachi mbiya hanti ni inda nke kuma and i followed my parents advice <laughs> so actually ni when in the bank some of even some of the parents bazire bona no batfa o kandi no batukunda so ni panya ngo muzire wona kageza ho ku mumwana so ni teka teka ngo bamwe bazire bakahereza abana babo freedom arrangement ni when kanye interabwine concrete kuma sank na benji na would go i would go for men are like sleeping with them and getting pregnant men were coming for ladies did yeah. you experience those issues abasigaz bari kwijira bari kwenda ubundi think of kubiha like mutubarizire bakija but i myself i have self control nina hundu kuma because i have my goals eh omushomero bwo ninjira mu abantu mutambatambura mu twine makapa ka kugira ngo do not let someone's opinion become your reality nina chindu kugende ro misho kandi chindu ko rukirira kutunga okay did you spare some time to check in books uh, did you receive any study materials did you listen to radio as uh, some radios were giving you know all uh, those studies ebyo kushoma byo nkabufuna akuba ishomero ryitere ryo kureba it's a care links school cause it needs excellence for everyone so tukaba turi yaho bayohereza message ya sumugabazire bitu cause bazindi burumwana wo kureba mu ishomero enamba ya muzire bajine so basindiko bajangwa abana bizire materials zo kushoma batwereze byo kushoma so tukaba tubiyene kandi tayi mukagifuna nagumana indebo mbitabo you were automatically promoted to senior 6 yes how are you finding that that automatic promotion it took over in senior 6 you miss some previous content of senior 5 <laughs> or in a content ya senior 6 ayi lokshom most of the people say a level is the hardest level in secondary life you have a few months to sit for your usc exams how about that how do you even feel how have, have you planned to meet all those challenges kujirango by the time you are shita mirebe jeze byawe you pass them actually i'm not regretting for the automatic promotion mm. we are grateful kujirango emyaka ebire bire yasiskira almost elevate shome kwant shome emyaka ebire turi on to shome emyaka eshatu konka kujirango at to st thomas we have no time to waste so we have all that time and we are catching up with the notes yeah and for your informations we are even some of the subjects are finishing their services mm-hmm. in a level so we are not regretting that's my own information that's your own information <laughs> just for you to know thank we you are not very scared. much the listener will also know so it's uh, for everyone <laughs> thank you very much voice of kamwenge radio ngabama runji <laughs> you man the size is huge oh moroko down kana ukorana government what happened <laughs> Fukudangani kora na government bitu nembera no bama nuhanga gya mpiri So uh, I am asking you the same question like this woman yeah, this girl <laughs> <laughs> So um in lockdown abasiga za binji bakirukira bishiki abasiga za binji bakabihwa bakazi most of those boys uh, married some boys bakatan came dara ya chapati batan ko business business they didn't come back to school because of those issues how about you you have to be kabura hakavuti kame to arogo mudisa si ma staff ya st thomas na management ya radio ka mwenge to go mudisa kureba muiza twagamba honi okay amazina ntinama school de gracious head boy wa st thomas vocational secondary school rubirizi kale buri omwe ine ngwa kutwara magaragiye abakazi bo bakaba ryo nibingi abishiki nibingi sente tubintu zukora konka abingi twine choroto zo kugira anti education is the only key kan tinana kana gamba kugira shortcuts are always wrong kugira anti orabe akanda kagufu no sanga kanda tikichire So uh um lockdown sento kano zikora what were you doing kano dera matafari ah nyo nka nyine history entrepreneurship na geography kandi isomorya ent ntwega mu bintu byinji ngo kusika mandazi kora sabune JMT na liquid soap at nyo nkaza kuganya ne skill yo kora liquid soap kandi nafuna na chance nt covid bakamba ja buri omwe akora tre SOPs oyino kusanga akajirika nina sabuna burika yo muntu kazi mm. kuni kiro mucyaro nagena nyine materials na producing ari ku dishop umbwinji okay 
Natinasangani na katare kare COVID kering kadvante jo anje. Hii buru buri kwa ena kisha tunga angori jirka ni kamkag. Chani tete lakuta shemunonga. People donated to the task force. Why didn't you? Because you were earning some good money, and uh, you know the advantage was of lockdown. I also donated to our health center. Mm. Uh, I gave them two gel cans of liquid soap. Okay, mm. that's a cool achievement to a secondary school student. Thank you very much. Now um, we were in lockdown. People started dying to the extent that uh, you would feel tomorrow is me. How you can know who wrote Uncle Mueji or Abraham or take a take on the Garcaisho Meru in Caronda future? Ah, Siranko's radio could have gone to Bakan Buffa. Kunka, Nito to Kajazaho, to a year in the Covid nineteen to a Kuratera, Minister of Sabia, and to Gambela. Yaya Kuaku Yokzuara Maskin, Maski Kunavengaros, and Taiza, Noktambo and Nayo, Kari Kata Quitter and Amnonga Navant. Thank you very much, Ogaratisho Meru, in the resident. Say, see, I've sent her an order. The Kachi and the Way Nichokur, a Way Nichin to Choku, a Soria Kuru, and the Karen Ketro to Chow. But in Berek is a Yonano de Gumera. Uh, I see the Zenji quiz of it. I must achieve my dream. Thank you very much. It is still the East Talk Show. My name is Mr. Vibes Live. We have uh, taken a visit to St. Thomas Vocational Secondary School in uh, Bururuma, Buhinda Parish, in Rototo Sub County, Bunyaruguru, in Rubirizi District. And it is a school owned by a Reverend Father. His name is Reverend Father Charles Nwagaba. It's still the East Talk Show. Uh, we have visited so many schools, so many schools. We actually visited a school that uh, has a name that resembles this one. Uh, but of course, it is St. Thomas Aquinas College. It is in Kamwenge. We visited a lot of schools in Kamwenge. We are moving to every district visiting schools to look at the situation in these schools. 